All right, Alikla through here. Um, we're going to try a box of 91 Bowman. So uh, this is actually a fantastic product to find slab cans. Um, you got key rookies, Chipper, Bagwell, Mike Messina, Pudge. Um, the list goes on with this product. Um, so I'm going to open the packs off camera. I'll just kind of get them all out of the packaging, make a couple of stacks, and we'll flip through and see um, what, what we pull from this box. But it should be a fun one. Alright, so here we go with one box of 91 Bowman. Uh, took a good 10 minutes to get everything unpacked and into stacks. There's the box in the background, and then here's a stick of gum. Um, what, 28 years old? 27? So, let's go. So they'll be flipped every which way. Which is a little annoying, but I will make a stack for a possible slab cans, and this is the first one. So, you know, any Hall of Famer to me is a slab can. Um, and then, of course, the key rookies. So, I'm not going to flip around the commons if it's like that. There we go. There's a bagwell. It's kind of cool. It it almost looks like a painting, this bag. Well, that's what I've always thought about it when I've seen it in person. But, um, looks like it's top to bottom centering's a little off and the left to right, too. So that's probably not going to make the cut, but I'll still put it in the pile, nonetheless. This is actually one of my favorite things to do in the hobby break junk wax and look for cans. So here's Hobby. The reason it's so much fun is, um, I don't know. It's, uh,. You don't have to invest, you know, a huge amount of money into a box. You can still create some value from getting some of these guys out. Um, and gem mint form, which does happen, especially when you're opening fresh packs. Um, of course, they're in transit and uh, stuff like that. The cards will get damaged, and there's no guarantees out of the pack. Some people think if they're opening packs, that guarantees gem mint cards, but it's it's, it's nowhere near that. Here's a Klesko, it's off-centered. I mean, you can tell that right off the bat. I don't know if Klesko would be a can. I think uh, Mondesi would be one. Raul Mondesi. These cards ha are kind of hard to flip because they've got the gum residue on the back, if that makes sense. And it kind of just makes them a little tougher to flip from card to card. So a bunch of commons. There's another uh, big cat. So a couple of cats already. I'll I'll pull some of the key vets that I'm not going to try to slab, just for the hell of it. But uh, that's a cool one. <laughs> he is skinny in this one. Tim Salmon. This one's kind of got some surface issues. I'll still put it in the pile though. Take a look at all of them later. There's a Larkin. Dave Burba. I always I always play the game with these cards. I'll like cover up the name and see if I can name all the names. So <laughs> there's Matt Williams. I guess we'll pull him. I was never a huge fan of him. David Justice is a good player. Ellis Burks was good. Productive player, that's for sure. So I I mean you you, you could get two two or three of a rookie in this too, or two or three of any card. I think it just depends. I, Coalition, I think, is all over the place. So a couple good players that aren't slab cans for me. Mo and Albert. The steroid crew. Greg Olson. Every time I see that player, I think of 1989 Donruss, the Raider rookie. We'll pull Carter. Sandberg. Uh, this is like the, the insert type, so I, I wouldn't consider slabbing that. It's got the bats on it. Sid Bream. I always think of uh, the 91 playoffs, right? This one has a surface problem by his hat. It's like pushed in or something. So it's it looks like it's centered well too. So that's a badass Messina card. So that there, there are no guarantees getting these cards straight from the pack. Um, I think you definitely increase your odds of finding uh, mint to gem mint cards doing it this way than buying them, you know, on Comsi or eBay. But there's still no guarantees. That Larkin looks pretty nice. There's a Will Clark. It's a cool photo. I like some of the, the photos in here. It's interesting how he said on his cards during uh, some of his career it says Rock Reigns. 
That guy does not look like a baseball player. Looks like an accountant. There's John Farrell. We flip fast through the comments. Jeff Montgomery, he's an announcer. There's a pudgy. Um, it's a little off center and it's got a little corner pushing up, so it's like an eight. So I mean, we might get skunked. We, we might pull all the key rookies and not have any that are good to send in. But that's that's part of the fun of it. Even when you don't succeed, you still have some fun. Uh, prime time is a slap can for sure. Big name. We'll pull uh, Reggie Sanders, just uh, as a notable player, but not a can. Travis Fryman, he was good too. That's a funny flip, funny card. I think they superimposed the hat onto his high school uniform, Kurt Miller. I believe he was a pitcher, a big prospect back in the day. And uh, Bob Wickman, I, I guess we'll pull him. <laughs> Olerud, he's a great player. And somebody commented in uh, one of my videos that he, he uh, wore that plastic helmet because he something happened to him in college or he got hit wow look at this that's straight from the pack <laughs> i don't know what that is it must be like gum gum residue that got wet or something charles Nagy. i think he's a coach for the indians now i could be wrong it could be a different team i know i see him in the dugout though when i watch games there's Donnie baseball a little off center carl everett a uh, notable. All right, second stack. Six minutes in. Not not terrible. Tino is a notable. Marquise. That's actually second year. He's in 1990. Joe Card is a notable. Royce Clayton. Notable. That's his rookie card too. You know, there was a time when, I think it was around uh, 2000, when these cards all shot up. Like, the, the, the chipper raw was like $30 or something. It was crazy. The entire set jumped up in price for a while there, and then it jumped, it went right back down. So I don't know what caused that, I guess. People were pushing the market up for a while there. Does anybody else uh, recall that? Sosa? <clears throat> Greg Vaughn? See, that one's top to bottom off center. Dante Bichette, we got the Wizard. Lee Smith, isn't he getting in the hall? That one's very, very badly. That's like a PSA 5 or 6. It's almost miscut. But it's Luis Gonzalez. Um, there's O'Henry. Second year Bernie with the, the dorky glasses. Daryl Kyle, I think he passed away in a hotel room from a heart condition. Years and years ago, there's a Carter, uh, Boggs off center. So this isn't the easiest set at all. There's Straw. There's Kenny. Let's check the center on Ken. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. Cordero, he got in trouble for beating his wife back in the day. Uh, Javi? I said, I said that so casually. Like it's a common thing. I mean, I guess it is to some extent. Ben McDonald wasn't he a good relief pitcher or a huge prospect? There's Ricky Henderson. I actually met him back in 92 when I was seven. Uh, Alan Trammell. He's a Hall of Famer, but I don't know about those, those numbers. Henderson, that one centered pretty much perfectly. So, I mean, I, I should get at least three three cards that I'll send off from this box. There's Edgar. Rob Nen, rookie. He's a great closer. William Pennyfeather. I, I bet he was a huge prospect if he's in this product. I don't know much about him, though. Whoops, dropped the salmon. Dropped it flat, though, not on a corner. Um, that one looks pretty good. It's got a push. I think it's got a bad edge, though. <laughs> There's so many things that can go wrong with these cards, though. There's another rock. Um, that's a Conan rookie. He was a good player. 
There, now we're moving pretty good. Buner, prime time. Bonds with the bats, not the base. We're still looking for a Frank Thomas base. Eddie Mother effing Murray. Canseco bats. Tony Gwynn. That one looks pretty good. Okay, here's a good trivia question. What did the, the White Sox announcer always call Lance Johnson? I used to always watch their games when I was a kid. WGN. Um, that one looks, that's got a bad corner. We're still waiting on Chipper, right? Eric Davis. There's a Sheffield third year. Uh, Martin. There's Big Mac. Bad corner. There's the Hawk. Dawson. Randy. It's off center. So you can kind of take a quick glance at them, and you can put them, and you, you and you can kind of tell if there's like a obvious flaw. There's Cal. That one looks pretty good. Jose Offerman. He's famous for uh, what he kicked the catcher. I think playing in Japan. There's Smolty. That one looks pretty good. That might be a corner problem there. Might get shut out on Chipper and Frank, though. Oh, well. Sosa. Another Olaroon. Last stack. So it's going to be about a 12-minute video. It's not horrible. With the pack breaking, it would have been like 25 minutes. That's too long. Jeremy Burnett. He, he would hit some bombs back in the day. That's a cool stolen base. Uh, Henderson. There's Eckersley. Delano de Shields, that's second year though. Jay Bell, so we're gonna get shut out on Chipper and uh I think we got the rest. No, we got shut out on Chipper and Tome. That that's a kind of a rough box, but oh well. And here's the stack of cans, so we'll flip through these off camera and maybe we'll send a few in. It was still fun though. That's it.